much. Joining us now, Fox News contributor, retired acting ICE director Tom Holman. Tom, I wanted you to see that first. It doesn't surprise you, but one thing I noticed, pretty well dressed, pretty well prepared. You got kids in strollers, you got people in wheelchairs. What's going on? Well, there's an open borders, and they know there's an open borders, and that's why they can keep coming, because there's no consequence. No, no deterrence. And they know, you know, last year, the Biden administration has released 600,000 into the United States. And if you add the other 400,000 gotaways, that's a million illegal aliens now living in the United States that came across that border. And they know that. This administration's actions speak louder than the words. They say that the ICE arrests are down, as if there's not many uh, illegal aliens committing crimes. Is that the case? No, ICE has been decapitated. ICE can't do their job anymore. Uh, the latest memo that came out from the secretary basically says it's no longer illegal to be illegal in the United States. They said being in the country illegally is not enough reason to be arrested by an immigration officer, so the arrests are way down. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, I haven't. And, and I just I, I noticed the other day that the chief patrol agent made a statement that he had tremendous concerns about the Texas DPS activities on the border. I mean, are you kidding me? I have a tremendous concern that he's still the chief. You know, what has Texas DPS done? I drove through down 150,000 illegal aliens arrested. 8,000 of them are criminals. 6,000 felons. They've had 844 car chases. They've seized 132 pounds of fentanyl that could have killed millions of people in the United States. They seized 373 firearms. And the chief patrol agent says he has tremendous concern. It's ridiculous. He ought to be having a press conference thanking the Texas DPS for helping him, bake him a cake or something. But to say he had tremendous concerns about the activities on the border is unconscionable. Yeah, I want you to hear everyone to, to share with us the disdain for this statement. This is Raul Ortiz, U.S. Border Patrol Chief, criticizing Governor Abbott. I really would prefer to see border security left to the border security experts. I want other agencies' help. I certainly need it at this time. But coordination has to happen. How dare he say that? You're doing nothing. Thing. You're allowing our border patrol to be trampled on, their reputation to be destroyed. They are outmanned, outnumbered. They're not allowed to do their job. You're not allowed to build a wall, and you're criticizing the only people doing anything. How does this guy sleep at night? I don't know. Border security experts? Show me one. Show me a border security expert in this administration. It isn't the president. It isn't the border czar, Kamala Harris. It isn't the secretary, and it certainly ain't the chief. The only border security experts in the administration are the men and women wearing the green uniform standing on the front line that the chief does not allow to do their job. This administration don't let border patrol agents do their job. Border patrol agents, border patrol stations are welcoming centers. They're not, they're not doing the job. If, if you want to fix the border, let those men and women do the job. There's two things he said that were false. He says that Texas DPS, their arrests are, del are delaying. He don't know if the aliens are getting a chance to claim asylum. He knows that's a lie. Every time the border patrol finishes, I mean, every time the DPS finishes doing what they're doing with, with charging people with crimes, they get released from the immigration officers so they can claim asylum. Right. Every one of them can claim asylum. He also says it's delaying their repatriations. You're damn right, because you're adding a consequence. Chief Ortiz needs to remember, the border patrol has a consequence delivery system, Operation Streamline. They, pro they prosecute numerous illegal aliens for entry, which would decrease the recidivism rate. So DPS is taking a page out of the Border Patrol handbook. He should know that. Operation Streamline started in Del Rio when he was assigned. It's ridiculous. Uh, because you know they know better. That makes it worse. Tom Holman, thanks so much. And if you're wondering why more thanks people aren't that. talking about this important story, NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC all have one thing in common, zero minutes on this. Uh,